Yo, 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 what's up? It's me, Lucifer2B666, and today I'm having a kind of like a review of Call of Duty Ghost, um, you know, what I think of it so far. Now, I'm not even going to preach to you that my opinions can change, because it's freedom of speech, people. Just, I'm going to get that out of the way. I don't care what you think. It's freedom of speech. So, my opinion is going to change. So, campaign. Campaign is weird. I, I didn't get that far. I didn't beat the game or anything, so don't, you know, whatever. Um, it's just confusing so far. I've gotten to maybe the fourth level, I think. Maybe the fifth. Um, it's just confusing. Very, very, very confusing. I don't understand what is going on. Um, they kind of explain a backstory to the whole thing, but it just doesn't make sense. It's like... I don't know. It, uh, let me go over what I understand so far. So there's these ghost people that kill everybody. Then you got this weird federation thing. That's what they're called, the federation. And they're evil, too. And then you got a third team, which is um, what you, your brother, and your father are in. Your father's the leader of this other group, um, and there's a bunch of followers you have too. And then you end up meeting up with these two ghost people in like the third or fourth, maybe even fifth level. That's about as far as I've gotten, and you're friends with them now. And it just doesn't make sense, because I thought they're bad guys. In the beginning of the game, they explained that they're, like, these really bad people that kill everybody. Okay? So, the, I don't know, I'm a little lost on the story there. But, yeah, so far, the, the campaign's pretty fun, the gameplay-wise. Um, but the story, I absolutely don't understand it. It's not going off of um, Modern Warfare 3. It's not continuing that story at all. Um, from what I understand, it, it wouldn't make sense, because, whatever. Okay, so, basically, it just starts its own new story. Extinction deserves its own review in itself. Like, it, it, it I don't know, it can't even fit with the game, because it doesn't. It doesn't fit with the game at all. Um, it's objective-based, kind of like, campaign, I, I guess, in a way. Um, weirdly, it, it's kind of like campaign um, with other people. So, in my opinion, it's more of like a replacement for Spec Ops, except with aliens. And I don't know, that it doesn't, it's weird. It's like a mix between zombies and Spec Ops. And then you kind of mash them together and take out the zombies and throw in aliens. Does that make sense? It's like... It's not wave-based, but there's... Like, these hives you have to take out. And every time you take out the hives, like, all these aliens show up and they attack you. Uh, while you're taking them out. But the only thing I don't like ex about Extinction is... A, I don't understand how I'm making points at all. Like, when you kill, like, an alien, you get XP instead of points. And the XP you can't use. Um, you level up in there, and then you, like, can set up your class. <clears throat> Whatever. And then you get points, which I don't understand, like I said. You just randomly get these points, I, I think, after every hive you take out, but it still doesn't make that much sense. Whatever. Um, I've like, been in a couple of, um, solo matches and a couple of, um, matches with other people, and I noticed whenever I was with other people, I made no points, but when I was by myself, I made a, a million points every single time. I, I just make so much, like, points. I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The gameplay is just really confusing in Extinction. Um, like I said, there's a lot of parts in the game where you just kind of do nothing. No aliens show up. Um, 
I, I mean, they do overwhelm you at times, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, it, it's just kind of boring playing Extinction. And I know why they threw it on there, was to create this hype, and you could tell they were just copying zombies just to copy zombies. Like, I don't know. So I would love to hear whoever created the story for Extinction, um, you know, in an interview, why they created Extinction. Because they're going to lie through their teeth. You know they're going to lie. They're going to be like, oh, we just had this idea and we ran with it. And then, you know, I would love to ask them, how did you get the idea? But whatever. Forget that. So Extinction, personally, it's going to be one of those novelty little game modes that you'll never play. And you might play like five years later when the game isn't online anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, Extinction, I, I don't know, my opinion might change on that if I get more people to play with me, but so far, it's horrible. Squads has two main categories, um, or I, at least that I could see. Um, they have like eight, I want to call them like subcategories, because they don't really change the gameplay too much, but... Um, you know, they give you, like, tiny options, like whether you want to fight one real person or w whatever, but basically, um, one of the main categories is where you fight, um, you and a team of bots fights another team of bots and maybe, like, a guy, okay, on the other team. So, it it's basically combat training, but it's set up a lot like a real, um, like a real match, and supposedly, I, I don't know, I'm a little confused on the whole thing, supposedly you can set up your bot's classes, I, I don't know, um, it, it does give me that option, but it says, like, I need more squad points, I don't even know how you get those, but whatever, maybe you level up and you get them, I, I don't know, um, so, that part of squads is kind of cool, in a way. I I barely played it. Um, I don't know. It, it seems cool, though. If you're, like, an inexperienced player, I, I would play on there instead of multiplayer. Um, but, yeah. And then there's the second game mode, uh, or, you know, category, I, I want to call it where it's basically that one game mode on Spec Ops and MW3, I don't know the name again, um, where there's the waves of enemies, and I, I don't know, they changed it up a lot. You can't buy weapons anymore. Um, you get them from care packages every round, which, I don't know, and then you get like other weird kill streaks in those care packages too, and I, I don't know, I personally was, like, beasting in there while, like, everyone was way higher level than me, and they were failing, they all died, like, instantly, so I, I don't know. I'm only level 5 in multiplayer, and I'm, like, poning, so I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that game mode, it, again, it's one of those novelty little things that I don't think I'll ever really play. Um, maybe every once in a while, again, to change things up, but it, I don't see myself devoting, like, five hours just to that, so, yeah, not very memorable whatsoever, and, yeah, <laughs> that's squads. Multiplayer makes or breaks the game for me. I don't care about campaign, I don't really care about all the little mini game modes off to the side, except I, I loved zombies. Um, that's something I always look forward to. Um, but this game, multiplayer is really essential. Um, it has to be perfect, because... As you've kind of seen throughout my entire video so far, I don't really care for any of the other game modes and things. I mean, they're alright, they're, you know, I'll play them every once in a while, but they won't make the game for me. Um, multiplayer is really what makes me feel like 
I spent my 60 bucks right. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's go on to multiplayer. The maps... I need to talk about the maps. A lot of people are complaining about the colors, how they're all wrong, and that the artist is probably depressed that it made the game, and yada yada yada. I, I don't think that. I think the colors are just fine. That's not what I worry about when I look at the maps. Um, you know, they said the same thing for Black Ops 1, and I, I thought Black Ops 1 was a beautiful game. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, but, you know, everyone disagrees on, on that with me. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, so this game, it's, it's not the colors, it's, like, the biome for the game, I, I guess that's the right word. It, the setting, maybe. Maybe not biome. The setting for the game is always in the middle of a map. Or, I mean city, not map. It is in the middle of a map. Um, in the middle of the city, where it's always, like, the same time of day. It might be raining, it might not be, but it's always in the middle of a city. Maybe a town, maybe a city, but it's always in, like, a place where people used to live. There's no jungle that I know of. There's no, um, snowy kind of map. Um, there's no sandy kind of map that I know of either. It's always the same. It's always in a town or a city. They did not think of any sort of variety when it came to that. They had, like, one map that I've played that is, um... It's in, like, what seems to be, like, a factory. But even that, it's like a building. It's not... I don't know. They failed on the maps horribly. I, I don't know. The, the maps are just horrible. And then the map design is crazy, because, like... You got people jumping from the ceiling. You got people, you know, coming from below you. Then, you know, oh, it's horrible. You got people coming from every direction you can look at. And it's insane. So the map design is pretty horrible. I mean, it, some of the maps are alright, okay? They're not perfect, but they're alright. And I don't have a favorite map so far. Usually, in every Call of Duty by now, like on the second day of playing it, I would have, like, a favorite map to play on. Nope. I I personally don't care for any of the maps. So, that's pretty bad. Um, considering I'm going to have to deal with this game for a whole year, and I don't like a single map. Okay, so hopefully the DLC, they fix that with the next DLC. Not that I'm probably going to even buy it, but, you know, whatever. Just hopefully they fix that. Hopefully. Let, just pray that they fix that. Okay. So, let's go on to the actual gameplay. The guns are really another thing. Um, they... They're a big part of the gameplay because the guns you're you're forced to use assault rifles when you first start. You get one assault rifle, um one submachine gun, which I've never even tried personally, I I don't wish to. And that's it. I don't you might get one other gun type, but I'm pretty sure you're not. Um LMGs, the riot shield, um Actually, I didn't try the ride shield, so I can't say for sure. Um, uh, any sniper rifle, a anything, literally, is locked out. And you have to buy it with these weird points. And I don't know, just look into it. I, I can't even explain it, because I don't personally know myself. You get, like, I think five points every level or something, or every couple levels you get, like, two points, maybe. I, I don't know. And... You have to buy items with points. Like, um, they go usually from anywhere from like one, or no, maybe like three to 25 points, maybe in all. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. So, you're forced to use assault rifles, and the assault rifles are all one to three shot kill. Every single one I've used is one to three shot kill. That, I don't know, that's horrible. Every single gun is one to three shot kill. It's horrible. You can be across the map from a guy, and it's one to three shot kill. One to three shot kill. And it might sound perfect. You're like, oh yeah, noob power, I'm a noob, I'm going to use this, I'm going to pwn, but everyone has the exact same power as you. They can kill you across the map with one to three shot kills. It's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. I mean, me personally, it, it doesn't bother me too much, because I've always died a lot, but you always get killed in the worst ways. Like, you'll be running, and then a guy will, like, just see you for a half second, spray you, and then literally he'll pull the trigger, like, once and you're dead. So, you have to really play, like, you, you can't rush in this game at all. Um, yeah, it, it pretty much, it's weird. Like, if you camp, then you'll get a guy that will, like, can't come into your camping spot and overwhelm you and kill you within, like, a second. And then if you rush, you still die. So, you have to do kind of like a camping rush thing where... You have to camp in a spot for like a minute, kill a few guys, and then run a little bit, and then stop, and you're still risking it a lot, but yeah, so that's that, and then um, you also get, like I said, the assault rifles are just, oh, okay, you, you have to use them now, like you're not going to win this game at all, <laughs> um, you're not going to gain any, 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 any level at all <laughs> without using the assault rifles. So, as, as I'm saying, there's also this gun that everyone's complaining about, and I see why people are complaining. It's called the MS... BS, I think? There might be another letter in the middle of that. I, I don't know. And it's one burst kill, no matter how far you are. As long as you can aim at somebody. Um, up close, literally you spray, they're dead. Um, middle range, you kind of have to aim a little bit. Um, it's not that bad, but from far range, you have to like aim at the person. Um, you can't just spray and expect to hit them, because you won't. Um, and you have to hit them like, perfectly from afar, but... That gun is pretty newbie. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I can see why people are complaining, because literally it is one burst kill. It's a burst fire weapon, uh, assault rifle, and it's one burst kill pretty much any range, as long as you know how to use it perfectly. And it's pretty noob-like. You can use this weapon... You know, if you're horrible at the game, but you, you just, you, there's a little bit of skill, not much, to using it. And then, the Honey Badger has a built-in suppressor, plus you can have two other attachments, which I just find newbie, and I've been using it, though. So, I want to warn you guys, but still really newbie. So, I, I don't know, like I said, the multiplayer is pretty much broken, but it's fun. It's fun. I, I really like this game. I know I've been complaining, but it, it is a really fun game. Besides all the little things I've been nitpicking at the game for. So, overall, I really love this game. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I've been complaining about it nonstop, because there's so much change that they've added to this game. But that's the thing I kind of like about it. So, I don't know. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I don't know if it's worth the 60 bucks. You might want to get it used. But, I don't know. I thought it's worth it. <laughs> I still have to get used to it. So, yeah, like, favorite, and subscribe. Sorry I complained so much. Whatever.
Peace. One thing to add on to this, if you like the old traditional style of Call of Duty, then don't buy this game. If you're willing to have like have a ton of change in Call of Duty, then I would buy this game. Um, if you're one of the older, older, older players of Call of Duty, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it for you. I would really look a lot more into this than just me. But if you're, you know, willing to have some change, I would definitely buy this Call of Duty. Well, see ya. Peace.